In the early 60s, at the age of 15, Radovan Karadzic arrived in Sarajevo to continue his studies. Ono što je bilo interesantno za Radovana Karadića jeste da je on bio ufuran u stil dece sveća i imao je tako dugu kosu, bio je poprilično bučan i tako dalje. Međutim, to je sve bila vanjska. On je ostao ono što je i bio. Seljače koje je došlo u veliki grad. Vi pogledajte njegovu poeziju. Vi ćete tu vidjeti u stvari veliku, veliku mržnu seljaka prema urbanom centru. Prema čoveku koji je spreman na urbičit. Koji je spreman na uništenje svega što je gradsko. Dr. Karadzic treated Sarajevo and the lives of its citizens like his personal plaything. You may recall the film that we introduced into evidence showing Dr. Karadzic standing with the Russian poet Limonov above the city like a lord proudly surveying his domain. There is a point of mine about Sarajevo. And the first line was, I can hear disaster walking city is burning out like a tamian in the church. Yeah. In this smoke, there is our conscious over there, and uh, uh, a squad of armed topola, armed trees. Everything I saw armed, everything I saw in, in, a, in terms of, of a fight, in terms of war, in mm -hmm. terms of in ar ar army terms. That was 20. 23 years ago that I have written this poem. And many other poems have something of prediction, which frightened me sometimes. His utter and complete disdain for the lives of the people of Sarajevo was shown when he, like a proud father showing a son a new toy, invited the poet Limonov to fire a high-powered sniper weapon into the besieged city, and Limonov did so. not warfare in any civilized, if one can say that about warfare, sense of the word, where there are Geneva Conventions and where soldiers practice the profession of being soldiers, where you have tactical and strategic goals. But the murder of civilians is not one of these. And having grown up in, in Alsace during the war and having had an uncle in a German concentration camp for anti-fascist activities, I take a very dim view of war criminals and war criminality. And I really feel until these people are brought to justice, you've sanctified what they've done. And that's why it's very necessary to bring these people to justice. Otherwise, why are we in Yugoslavia?
the late 60s, Karadich was already married to Liliana, a fellow student psychiatrist from a well-connected Sarajevo family. His friends observed a man in a hurry, the first to get married, the first to have children, the first to graduate, the first to become respectable. In the 60s, Yugoslavia's volatile mix of Croats, Serbs and Muslims lived side by side in Sarajevo, national rivalries forgotten or suppressed, an ideal Tito enforced ruthlessly. Karadic's friends were poets and intellectuals whose developing interest in Serb culture and history brought them to the attention of the Bosnian police. In the summer of 1968, Yugoslav students, swept up by the mood of the times, were demonstrating against the government. Karadic was interrogated by the police. Some say he was recruited as an informer. An evaluation of his work as a spy was recently found in the archives of the Bosnian government. As a medical student, Radovan Karadzic displayed good quality. During his engagement, he demonstrated that his work is useful and was therefore recruited. He regularly submitted his reports under the pseudonym 309. As our collaborator, he is excellent, clever and of a highly conspiratorial nature. He is young, well-read and talented man, and in addition, is emotional by nature and inclined to think the way a poet does. Thank you.